Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Sim Airport. And as you can see, the terminal is absolutely busy right now. So, last episode, we made some fairly decent progress with the airport. We've got quite a few upgrades going, and we are jam packed on flights. And I already see a issue. Look at security. Security seems to be. <laughs> I can't even tell, like, how are you supposed to check people in and out there? That makes no sense. Uh, so I know that's gonna be priority number one because I think that's gonna start our little bottleneck and that's gonna Eventually make it to where this is gonna be a very bad situation soon. So Today what I want to accomplish. I would like to get a third gate Maybe expand the terminal out a little bit, but security is gonna be that's priority number one I'm, I can already see it right now, and it's bugging me. So what we're gonna do we're gonna eventually expand this whole thing out. Let's go ahead and do a foundation here. It's 40,000. I do eventually want to make the terminal out like this, but that's $132,000 to do that and expand it even further out to the right. That way we can tag on another gate. But the first thing we need to do is we need to get our lobby situation, uh, I would say, a little bit in a little bit better position because right now it's a. Uh, it's not big enough. So I'm gonna get them to start working on the foundation out here. And we need to redo some of these zones. You know, I really wish, and I don't think I can do it. I can't put the uh, zones on the other side. Nope, can't do that. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We need to move our pickups around a little bit. So let's go ahead and de-zone here. And then we're gonna, no, we don't need to dezone pickups exactly. I don't know how much of a, uh, how big of a spot they really truly need. Uh, let's go ahead and give them more by the road. And yeah, I can't really cut into my garbage there. So let's do that. Let's dezone here. And let's just see what happens. Uh, worst case scenario, they stand in the road and get hit. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, so we're going to do that. I think this is an area that we can extend the, uh, we can extend the lobby out a bit. And we can move some ticketing booths. And I can see there's some people getting frustrated in uh, security right now. So that's not good. We can't have that. We need to have everything running as smooth as possible. So we're going to add another security station down here. As soon as they finish this uh, area. And then we'll uh, have them kind of filter into the main part of the terminal here. Where the gates are. So let's go ahead and fast forward time here. Yeah, that is such a mess. That became a mess really quick, too. So, we're going to do that. Uh, not necessarily the queues being backed up. Actually, they're starting to get backed up now. But it's just right in this area. I can't tell if they're not getting through. If it's the baggage scanner or if it's the metal detector. But regardless, we need another station here. And we're going to have to hire some more staff. So, let's do that. Looks like they built a wall here. So, let's go ahead and delete this wall here and here and here there we go all right so they're gonna do that it's going fast forward time either that they're gonna just all stare at a wall I mean regardless uh, they're gonna do that let's go ahead yeah we're getting a lot of angry people here and this is all I think coming from security at the moment so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna expand security out to let's just go ahead and just give them this whole little area uh, we'll make this look a little bit neater here in a second. I need to move the uh, ticket areas over too, but I can't really do that until we get a, a time overnight where there's not a lot of customers coming in. Uh, so, yeah, we can't do anything there. So, come on. Delete the wall. Are you kidding me? I've hired all of you guys and there's only one person deleting this wall. That makes no sense. Okay, so let's pause that, or slow that down actually, and let's go ahead and get some security objects here. So we're going to get another, what's the spacing on these? One, two, so it'd be the third, so about right here. Let's do that. I wonder if those body scanners, I bet you they are more efficient. I wonder if we should go ahead and, we're going to install, whoa, that thing is big. Alright, that might be a little too big for now. Until we get a big security area, I don't want to do that, so let's do that. Let's go security station here. This is where I'm going to run into an issue because of the way the queues are right now, and that's why I need ticketing to be moved over a bit, so uh, that's a little unfortunate how that is right now. But we'll be able to uh, go ahead and put this metal detector in, and this should help. Uh, I would say it's going to help a little bit. I don't think it's going to help a tremendous amount until I can kind of sort these cues out 
but I think this will work out pretty good. So let's do that. We need to hire three more security guards here. They'll go in as soon as those objects are placed. And I need to get this ticketing area fixed. Okay, so another thing I need to go ahead and upgrade. I'm kind of watching some of these status on the uh, flights here. And everything's been getting in and out fairly decent, but I noticed some of the times are a little off. And I know you can upgrade this uh, runway to have several different almost safety features and things that are going to make the flights a little bit uh, more on time. I think the, uh, let's see, it's Precision Approach Path Indicator provides a visual indicator to pilots of their approach angle resulting in increased safety. So that's pretty good. Uh, one of these actually, I think it's this one, the runway, the ILS. Uh, this is going to help make it to where there's fewer weather delays and there's a lower risk of weather-related uh, incidents, even though I don't think we've really had any of those, but I think this will make the flights a little bit more on time. So we're going to go ahead and invest in that and let them upgrade out there. And we're going to place it somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to place it here probably... I don't want to do it. Can I do it at the end or can I do it over here? Let's do it over here. There we go. Okay, so we're kind of in our slow period overnight. Uh, there's a couple flights about to leave. Uh, what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and expand the lobby area here. And I'm going to see how that's going to interact with that fence. Uh, they might kind of build around it. I'll have to delete it. But I've got to keep this back area secure for now. So I'm going to let them do that. And... Yeah, it seems like there's a there was a flight that just missed, and I don't know really what caused it to miss. I need to uh, kind of maybe reevaluate some of the schedule, even though I think the schedule is actually pretty good. There's not a time to where we're completely overloaded, but uh, something's definitely happening. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and do this, and they're gonna build this little section here, and I can see where they've screwed up already. So we need to free we need to free this up here. Let's go ahead and delete this wall and then delete this down. Actually, it says it's blocked. Delete that down there. And then we need to build a wall. Actually, I need to just delete the fence area. And then we need them to actually build walls here opposed to what they're doing right now, which is kind of uh, not very good. So let's do that and we're going to fill this in with tile. We should be about ready to move some ticketing counters. And hopefully get them in a little bit more efficient area. Because that's my really my main concern right now uh, with the placement of them. So let's do that. We're going to tile this bad boy in. And that should be good to go. And we're going to move the ticketing desk back here in just a moment. Alright, so today went a little bit smoother at the airport. I went ahead and let the game run for a second because there was really not much I could do during the day. So now we can go ahead and focus on getting our ticketing area in a little bit better shape than it is so let's go ahead and go with the ticketing desk we're gonna put two here right at the back and this is gonna make it to where I have to reevaluate my little conveyor belt for the baggage but we will be able to do that so we're gonna put two back there we're gonna go into utilities go and go into uh, the little baggage line here and we should be able to go about like this, and this should make it to where these connect in. Let's go ahead and delete that last little bit. There we go. All right, so that's going to make it to where those will connect into the back, and we're going to move, or at least we're going to delete this ticket desk right here. This one will probably stay. I might even move it too, but this is going to make it to where I have a bigger area back here to make some cues. So that should work out fairly decent. We're going to go ahead and dismantle these in-flight displays or these little info displays, we're going to move those too. Uh, those are probably going to be placed. We're going to go ahead and get a couple more here. Uh, we can't just move them for whatever reason. So uh, let's go ahead and grab two of these. We're going to stick them about like, say, here and here. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead. It's about to be that overnight period where there's really nothing going on at the airport. So let's go ahead and dismantle this ticketing desk here sell these off here and this should work so let's do that let's go ahead and hire one more staff because we're gonna need one additional for the third desk so they're gonna she's gonna go in over there there we go let's go ahead and fast forward time just a bit where they can get these taken care of and here we go we've got our overnight period so we have probably about I would say two and a half hours before passengers start to arrive again so they really really need to get this thing 
taken care of and get it out of here real quick. That way I can start doing these queues. But they're going to worry about doing other stuff right now. They're still doing the conveyor. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this queue here. That uh, looks a little bit better. And we're going to expand this out. Now, I really probably could do a first class ticketing option now that I have three desk. But I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. That feels... Uh, it feels kind of wrong at times. Uh, we're not a big enough airport for that yet. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and expand this about like, about like that. Oh, actually, you know what? They need to, can we get this out of the way, please? Let's see if we can get them to uh, move this real quick. There we go. So, yes, I understand that Q is kind of blocking the door a bit. It really doesn't matter because they walk through each other, but... Actually, let's shrink this. Let's stop that there. And let's go ahead and start this other queue real quick. That way I can see exactly where these are going to meet up. I feel like these are going to be big enough. So we can go there and there for those queues for those ticketing counters. So let's go ahead and assign them real quick. You're going to get assigned there. And let's go ahead. This uh, UI is still a little tricky to uh, get around. We're going to assign this one to this queue. So that's going to accept all passengers at this bottom queue. Now this top queue, it really needs to get moved because it's blocking security at the moment. So we're going to dismantle it. Now question is, where do I want to put a third desk at? All right, so what we're going to do here, let's go ahead and redo the queues for security. Because now we can utilize a little bit more lobby here for them. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and expand this queue out like the... Actually, no, let's shrink that queue just a bit. We're going to go ahead and move this queue about like that. And we're going to go ahead and shrink this queue. I want to shrink that one there. We're going to try to make these queues a little bit more even looking. So let's go out to here, out to here, and then out to here. And then we're going to shrink this last queue a little bit. I think that we're going to give... Let's see, can we do that? I don't know if you can do that here or not. We can assign... Actually, we can do it. We're going to assign this uh, little queue to first class. That way we can get them in and out real quick. And we still have two major queues for everybody else. Actually, let's go ahead and set those to coach only. All right, so we've got our security area, I feel like, in decent shape. We'll really know today once everybody starts to come in. I still feel like we might need a first-class ticketing counter. And what are you guys doing? These are assigned, are they not? Yes, that one's assigned, that one's assigned. They're kind of standing there. I don't know if they're waiting to go into the ticketing areas. There they go. They're starting to use the queues now. Uh, somebody said in the comments section that these, ticke uh, these ticketing uh, kiosks don't get used, not unless they're in the ticketing zone, and that's uh, false. I mean, you see them, uh, when people start really coming in, they'll start using them. It doesn't matter where they are, so those are good to go there. I would like to get those in a little bit better order, too, but uh, I'm not going to fiddle with those at the moment. What we're going to do here, let's go ahead and dezone a little bit of this baggage area maybe to about maybe to about there because we still only need one of those carousels and what I might do can I have a second ticketing up here say we assign this to ticketing up here and we do a small desk uh, something for first class make them feel special they have their one side of the lobby here and I think I can easily fit that into my conveyor system too so let's say right here and let's go back into utilities. How close are we to the system? Pretty close. I need to go ahead and demolish here, here, and here. Those are not needed. I didn't actually know you can actually see the bags going. That's pretty cool. So what's the easiest way to hook on here? We're actually going to have to go up, and then we're going to go down and hook into the line down here. So that's going to work. Let's go ahead and make a... It's going to be a smaller queue here. Maybe, actually, let's go ahead and do something like this. Let's expand out here, here, and then have the opening here. And we'll assign that to first class. And we have one staff member, I believe, somewhere is that standing around that should fill that in. So that should work. Okay, so we're going to assign this to this queue over here. I'm going to set it to first class only. So they'll be able to go ahead and start going up there. And then down here, these are assigned. And these are going to be to coach only down here. So that should 
set this straight. I hope it's going to. Uh, this could blow up in my face here and not work, but I think it's going to make this run a whole lot smoother. Uh, what's still, those ticketing kiosks are bothering me because I want to put them in like one area and not have them spread out like the way they are now. But for the time being, I'm going to keep them like that. So let's go ahead and look over here. We can go ahead and do a little bit of an expansion. This A2 needs another uh, desk agent here. So what we're going to do over here, let's go ahead and build the foundation out. Uh, let's not spend too much yet. That expansion there should be about okay, I think. So they're going to expand that. We'll delete the wall. We'll add another agent there. And I would like to, like I said, expand this whole bottom area, but that's going to take a while to do. That way I can get the queues in the actual terminal part. Uh, in I guess they're, I don't know if they even call that the terminal part. Wherever they're loading up passengers, I want to get those queues in order like I did with the lobby area. But that's going to take quite a bit of money right now. And that's money we do not have. So let's go ahead. We're going to fast forward. I'm going to monitor the activities of the day here and see just how everybody gets through the airport. Make sure everything's working in a fairly efficient manner. And then we'll truly see what we need to adjust. Plus, we'll be ready to go and we'll make another uh, guest agent desk over here. And we'll probably set it to the first class and the coach like we have on the front gate here. All right, so everything's kind of running good there. They finished the foundation on this side, so we're going to go ahead and add the carpet in, and then we should be good to go to build a desk. I'm thinking about right here. It's not going to be as long of a queue as this one because, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do the, uh, the first class and then the coach options. So we're going to do that. That's going to work out pretty good. I've been monitoring how everything's been working, and it's pretty smooth. It's pretty on point, so... I'm very happy to see this progress. I think we are going to get around to building another gate, a third one, but I don't think we're going to actually connect it and get it ready to go this episode. I just want to go ahead and invest the money and have it ready. Come on, where are my workers at? There they are. Let's go ahead and get this filled in real quick. That way we can go and get another desk going. So they've got that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get a ticketing desk here. Or actually, not a ticketing desk, a guest. I don't remember the last time I've actually built one of these. He's gate agents. Uh, let's go ahead and place you. Hmm. It sets about like that. I think that's actually okay. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and make a queue here. Remember, this is first class, so it's not going to be as big of a queue, I don't believe. So let's do something like, something like that. So that'll work. Let's go ahead and hire one more staff up here. Now, one thing uh, that I complained about last episode, I was having a bit of a trash issue here in the uh, lobby areas, and I realized that you pretty much have to have garbage bins everywhere. In the restrooms, uh, you can see there's a little bit of trash in here, but this thing was, it was frightening looking last episode. There was tons of stuff on there. What is the green stuff? What are y'all doing? Like, what is causing that? I, actually, I don't even want to know. You know, I should probably expand this bathroom at some point and probably put a divider wall. Even though I don't think it matters as far as if you need a male and a female bathroom, they all, I believe, just go to the bathroom. So I really don't know if that's necessary. We might just expand the thing out and just make it to where we can get people in and out faster. All right, so we're ready to assign this to a gate here. You're going to be assigned A2, and you are going to accept first class only and you're gonna accept coach only so let's swap that around you need to be assigned to this queue here and this one's assigned over here is it not let's go ahead and close that a bit and let's see oh, I can't click the desk there's so many people walking by you know I really do need to work on an exit situation for all the passengers coming to the lobby uh, a lot of people have like built like a hallway say we would build it after we expand this out, we would build it down here and maybe have it spit them out. Probably right here by security. Instead of having them all walk through because that's a little distracting to see. But yeah, let's see here. Okay, that is a sign. Alright, so that is all in order. And we should be good to go. We should be making decent money right now. We're making about 71000 Uh We need to probably invest in some more research here. So we're going to go ahead and invest in road building. And that's going to take 24 hours. And then that's going to make it to where we can have the multi-lane access. And that should 
make it to where I believe this road out here, I could be wrong about this, I believe it's going to make it to where that's a two-lane road, and that's going to really help with the drop-offs, pickups, and the notorious trash, which likes to stop up all the traffic as it picks up all of the trash bags. Now, one thing uh, I complained about, I don't know, maybe it's the position. Let's go and dismantle this dumpster. They're not using this bottom dumpster for whatever reason. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's against the zone here, or maybe it's just a bug. Uh, but I would like to see them use the second dumpster. So let's go ahead and put another one here. There we go. So hopefully they'll start using that. I believe that makes it where they, uh, they'll unload the trash a lot quicker. Instead of having to go grab every little bag, they'll just grab like a bundle. See, they're grabbing all the bags here. But I think if there was enough dumpsters, either it just expands the, uh, the amount of storage or it makes it where they can grab it in one go, which I'm hoping that's what it is there. So we've got that. One thing that's bothering me a bit, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to move these offices. I feel like maybe they should be in this corner down here because they are eating a little bit into our ticketing area. And when I built the offices, I wasn't really thinking. And that's kind of a shame because I feel like that is some prime real estate for, especially when we expand to like three or Heck, even if we get to four gates, uh, that's going to need to be ticketing areas opposed to being offices. So I'm going to debate where I'm going to stick those. I could move them down there, or I could move them up here up top of bagging. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, this is moving pretty smooth. I would like to let this set for a second. We're going to make some money, and I want to see if I can afford... How much is this going to take to expand this whole thing? Oh boy, $150,000. That would take over two days of setting. I at least want to expand out to here, so we'll get the $36,000. So we've got to do that, and I would like to add a gate. So I'm going to let it set for a second. We're making uh, about $71,000, close to seventy-two. dollars So I'm going to let it set for a bit and kind of roll in some money. I believe we're set as far as our lobby. I don't think anything bad is going to happen. So we're going to let it set, we're going to gain some money, and we'll see what we're going to expand before we end the episode here. Oh boy, you know what? I have to say, this is probably the most efficient I've seen the airport. There's not really been many major lines in ticketing right now. Uh, some of our bigger flights, we've got one right now that's 149, uh, went by really smooth. The first class, they got through really quick, and then the coach is slowly piling in right now. So, feeling pretty good about this. So what we're going to do, the last things... Let's go ahead and build another gate. That's going to go... Uh, let's try to keep this spacing somewhat even. So I think that's going to go here. And we'll expand the terminal out. Let's go ahead and do a bit of building here. Uh, can I... Do I want to... Eh, that's pretty close on money. Let's go ahead and only expand it to here. And we'll chip away at this and eventually build this back end on. And then we'll connect the new gate. But this is going to give them a couple construction projects to work on. Uh, that actually got us really close money-wise. But we should be good. Here comes all the money for all the runway usage. So that's pretty good there. But they're going to build that. They're going to start building down here. Next episode, we will expand out even further and try to get that third gate in running order. And we'll see what we need to do to the lobby because I do desperately need to move these offices. But anyways, folks, thanks for all the support on the Sim Airport series. If you're new to the series, I'll have the playlist down in the description. But anyways, folks, hope you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time on Sim Airport. Thank you.